This simple inventory system works okay, but it is a bit boring. Let's go ahead and add some items that we can pick up, add some throwing function and also some basic graphics. Let's get started. We will start with picking up the items. First, add variable for the player reach because we will be using the physics raycast for picking up the items and also variable for the camera. So just create ray which will be at the position of the mouse, some hit info, then we can check for the physics raycast and if we are also pressing the pick item key, we need to know if the item that we are looking at is pickable. For this, we will create new interface and in the interface just add some void for picking up the item. Then create new item of type iPickable and this item will be equal to the object that we are looking at and if this item is not equal to null, we can then easily just add type of the item to our inventory. But for this we will need to go into the script item pickable and here create variable for the item scriptable object because we will need to access the type of the object that we are picking up. Create void which we will call when we pick the item so just destroy the object and also implement the iPickable interface. Back in the inventory script we can just access the item's type and add it to our inventory. And then just call the void on the item to destroy it. Now we can just create prefabs of those items so that we can easily add them to the game. To all of those prefabs we will add the script item pickable, assign the item scriptable object and also add the rigid body and box collider components. And like this you can easily add some pickable items to your game. Now we will make the function for throwing the items away. So first add some variables for those items prefabs that we can spawn them in. I will also create new object which will be just referring to the position where the throat object will appear. Create new dictionary in which we will input the item type and the output will be the item that we will instantiate and add the item types and those item prefabs to the dictionary. When we press the throw item key and the inventory list count is greater than 1, which means that we still have some items in our inventory, we can easily instantiate the item, access it in the dictionary and instantiate it at the position where we have the throw item game object which we have just created and then if the selected item is not equal to 0, we can just set the selected item to selected item minus 1 and call the void new item selected. Just assign the prefabs and change the throw items game object position to the position where you want to appear the item. So now I can easily pick up those items and when I press Q, you can see that the items appear in front of me and is no longer in my inventory as you can see here. Now we can just quickly add some text that will appear when we can pick up some item. Now we can just turn on or off this text depending if we are looking at some item that we can pick up. For this we will need to make small adjustment to the part of the code where we are checking for the physics raycast. So it should look like this. Yeah, now it shows me the text when I can pick up some item. Now let's add the hotbar UI which we will do under the canvas. I will create 9 slots and under each slot I will add 2 images, one will be for the background and the other one will be for the item sprite. In the inventory script I will add statement using unityengine.ui. I will create two image arrays which will be containing all of those inventory slot images and background images because we'll need to set the slot images to the according items sprite and also when I have selected some item I want to set the background to some greenish color and create variable for the sprite which will be just for the empty slot sprite. So create new for loop which will go through all of those items and if the iterator is smaller than the inventory list count. then we can set the sprite of the inventory slot image on the index of i and access the dictionary which we have created earlier to access the correct 
item sprite according to that item scriptable object on the item. And if i is greater than the inventory list dot count, that means that we have no item here, we can just set it to the empty slot sprite. Assign all of those values. And you can see the correct sprites in the inventory of the items that I currently have. So the last thing that we will do is just change the background color of the selected item that we know which item we have selected. We will create new for each loop in which we will go through all of those inventory background images. And if the current image is equal to the selected item, then we can just set the color to some green color. And if not, we'll just set it to white. Yeah, and now we can even see which item I currently have selected. I can throw the items away and then I can pick up those items again. So like this, you could easily create some basic inventory system for your game. It is definitely not ideal if you want to have like 50 items in your game, then it would be kind of difficult to scale, but for smaller games, it is definitely an option. I hope this two part 20 series on how to make your inventory hotbar in Unity was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in the next videos. Bye!